Impaired driving causes over 80,000 vehicle collisions in Canada alone each year. When we think of the word impaired, we typically think of alcohol-related impairment. However, last year, 40% of fatal vehicle collisions in Canada involved drug use. With the legalization and greater availability of cannabis, the issue of assessing impairment at the roadside is becoming a big problem, a problem in which the legislation far precedes the technology. I used to think that in order to solve a big problem, we must have to come up with a big solution. We must need lots of material, money, infrastructure, and space in order to come up with a practical solution in the area of roadside drug detection. Well, I'm here today to tell you that I've applied quite the opposite approach in my PhD. By organizing nanoparticles on a, upon a platform that's about the size of your fingernail, I build tiny yet immensely powerful nanostructures that are capable of drug detection down to the level of parts per billion. For reference, this is like identifying a single grain of sugar dissolved in your bathtub of water. The story begins at Nanofabrication Kingston, where I produce these chips, as shown on the left. They're made of a silicon wafer with gold electrical connections patterned onto the surface. These connections are about one-tenth as thick as a human hair. I have to work in a clean room environment, hence the wacky outfit, because a single particle of dust can have a meteor-like impact to the surface of our electrodes. We use these electrodes to apply electric fields to nanoparticles in order to assemble them into structures. This is similar to how you would use, for example, a magnet to assemble a pattern of iron filings on a surface. We've affectionately labeled these structures with names such as nanotrees, nanomushrooms, or nanocoral, as they've shown on the right. Um, when the laser light from our sensor interacts with the surface of these nanostructures, it bounces off them in such a way that enhances our detection signal by up to 100 million times. The essence of my thesis is to exploit this phenomenon. I use these chips as platforms to build nanostructures, and then I use the nanostructures for exceptionally sensitive chemical detection. I've been fortunate to see the technique that I developed in my PhD be applied both academically and commercially. The method is now patent pending and is being developed by the startup company Spectroplasmonics. Together, we've applied this technique for the sensitive detection of narcotics, such as oxycodone and heroin, stimulants, such as uh, methamphetamine, and THC, the psychoactive ingredient in cannabis. I'm very excited to be here today to share with you the immense potential of nanoscale science to solve macroscale issues. Thank you. <laughs>